So what does our three hours of absolute misery end up looking like? Well, pretty fucking good. Unfortunately, it's just such a shitty, tedious process. Uh, and it would not be any less tedious next time, except that I'd know where to get to the annoying parts. Fucking stupid, useless, useless development. The shit of a thing? The shit. Absolute shit of a thing. Let's get this stupid fucking piece of shit. If only it was that fucking easy. Stupid. Fuck you, BMW. I'm trying to get your fucking park. I don't care if you're fucking teeb. How fucking stupid this fucking LED is. We'll show you the level of fucks I currently give. Shitty, tedious process. Fuck you. Don't you worry, I've got a cupboard. This is what we're going to be installing. Uh, these are headlights from the States, uh, I'll put a link to them in the description, H7, 6000K, so basically just bright white, and then these are just little parkers, they're off eBay, just LED parking lights, uh, the size is W5W, uh, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, I'll put a link in the description also. Uh, how am I going to fit all this in my bike? It gets pretty close. These are slightly bulky as you can tell the size of my hand. To give you a rough gauge. They're apparently the smallest in the market for what they do. And it all does seem to plug in reasonably well. I just didn't have these LEDs uh, so I didn't finish the job because there's no point pulling it all apart just to have to pull it all apart again just to put these LEDs in. So I'm going to try and get this all fitted tonight. Uh, we will see how we go. Getting to the LED on the running light side is going to be an absolute misery. The first time was really difficult, uh, but we'll see how we go. I know both these lights work, so we're sweet in regards to that. It's just going to be fitting them uh, fiddly, and then just trying to get some space to put these and sort of store them. So, yeah. Bear with us. I'll try and make it as clear as possible, and let's see if we can't get these installed. The mosquitoes at the moment are absolutely out of control, so I'm going to get these calls going. Right, yeah, so we are going to need the uh, two tools from your the back of your bike as well. It will make things easier. On top of that, uh, you need a star key set or anti. Uh, you need a tamper-proof key set, and then just a small socket set. Okay, so to start with, we're going to need to remove this bolt and this bolt. Then we're going to work on getting off these uh, sort of side headlight fairings and then we will actually undo these three bolts, remove this, place that out of the way and then one bolt which is just under here, just under the nose and this whole uh, plastic piece will come off and it will give us a lot more access to what we need to have access to. So let's quickly do that. The tricky bit here as well is removing these side fairings. So I'm going to show you how to do it without breaking it. First what we're going to do is we're going to pull this outwards. So just pull it. And you're going to sort of roll it a little bit. So you're going to roll this because basically there's a locking stud here and it's plastic so you don't want to snap it. Um, and it locks like this. So it locks into that. So you want to you want to etch this forward a little bit, you want to rotate this like that way, just like that, and it helps to assist that sliding out. So you just got to work it a little bit, you can feel it click, it doesn't feel great. And there we go, it's just unhinged. Now from here, there's a piece which clamps down around the plastic, so we need to slide this fairing upwards. So we're just going to slowly work it out and upwards. So I've got force then just going in this direction. And now simply, after that is off, all we have to do is unplug this indicator here. From here you put a bit of pressure upwards while lifting this little locking lever here. And that's out. In towards the body from the rear, I'm going to pull out from this top portion until it clicks. So rotating under and then pulling outwards. It's a very unpleasant click. I don't know why they use plastic clips. It's fucking stupid. It's an easy way to get things broken. And then after that's fully released, this fairing is going to go upwards. Be careful you don't smash your fairing. Do some of your metal work here, so it's important to protect it as you work it off the frame. 
just sort of rocking it backwards and forwards to feel it start to release. The first time is actually really unpleasant. See this clip here? Nice. So this clip actually faces downwards and hooks around there. And you can see this, this clip here as well. That's what it hooks into that latch. I don't know why they make it out of plastic. It's a useless, useless to build them. And sliding out of the new. Alrighty, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and remove these three bolts as they actually secure this down. You can move this out to the side. Uh, we need to remove that one, just there. It's easier to use the Allen key than it is to use um, a screwdriver for this. You'll also, after removing that one, need to remove two more screws. Now if you see this, um, this one, we have to remove this, and there's one on the opposite side. Then this whole fairing will slide forwards and off. This whole fairing should just slide forwards and it'll come off pretty easily. It's also important as well to lay your stuff out neatly on the ground in the order of bolts and everything that you did. It'll make it easy to put it back together because there are some different sizes in there that'll make things quite awkward towards the end. This is going to be the easiest light to change on the whole bike. This is your parking light for the high beam side. This simply just twists, rotates to the left and comes down. Now you've got your bulb and you can just pull that straight out. That right there is the easiest thing you can possibly change on the bike. It'll take about two minutes and then you've got everything back together. The shit of a thing is when we have to start getting behind and I'll explain in a second. Now in behind here we've got our high beam. That'll focus. Um, so right here we've got our high beam. Now this twists to the left the whole piece rotates. First, obviously, you've got to undo this plug. Uh, it takes a little bit of fiddling. I'm not going to show you on camera because it's a bastard. You've got to get this screwdriver in, under here, pull this lever out. I'll zoom right in for a second. So you can see that little clip in there. Once you've pulled this, um, this clip off, here, you move that down and you rotate this housing this full piece of housing here to the left and then your bulb and everything will come out from there that's where it gets a little more interesting that is the amount of room we have to work with now you can undo a bolt in here and up the top just in here you can't quite see it if you undo those two screws you can actually shift this headlight just slightly to the right and it might give you a bit more room to work in here. I don't know how much room it really gives you. Uh, it didn't really help me a whole heap. Basically you've got a dust cover. Push that left. It'll pivot. That comes off. This is seriously awkward to do holding this goddamn torch. And now we can start to see in behind. The first thing we need to do is remove this plug here. So it just pulls straight off. It's an utter shit of a thing to get to. Now that's off. Now the next thing you're going to remove is this, this spring harness kind of thing, which basically holds the light bulb down. You'll have to work that out for yourself, because I'm not going to show you exactly. It's basically two pieces of metal, which you can sort of see there if I zoom a little bit further. There's two pieces of metal either side. Now they hold the bulb down. Once you release those from their little catches, you can sort of see them down there shining. Once you release those from the catches, then the bulb can come out. This will be the easier bulb to change, but harder to get to. As for room for hiding the ballast, we've got a fair bit of space up there behind, in through here, that I reckon I can fit my ballast in. The LED is I'm gonna 
in the video. I think nearly the easiest way to access all of this stuff would literally be to remove this full front piece um, and make it cut the work in half but it's also very tedious, you know, there's heaps of tacos up, you know, you got your taco up there, heaps of wiring, so, I'm um, sorry, and it's just gonna make it a whole lot easier to access this stuff. If you can work it out how to get that off and post up a result, because basically there's three screws holding this, this um, light in. One here, one there, and the one inside is totally inaccessible from the outside you'd actually have to take this full piece off to access it which means it's just I just do not like the design of how they've made it to change these light bulbs because honestly even a qualified mechanic to change that little mechanic has to take off every bit of fairing and know exactly what he's doing it's an absolute shit of a thing obviously whenever you're installing any of this stuff plug it in turn it on make sure it works before you refit it to the bike and create yourself more problems than you had before and he simply just pulled straight out you can really see a very noticeable difference. Now that clips off, you need to rotate this piece anti clockwise. And there it comes the bolt. start for sure but you see my ballast is basically don't you dare start raining on me I think it's gonna start raining anyway you can basically see my ballast is tucked up here with a few good cable ties there's definitely enough room in this bike for a reasonable size ballast now you saw it was about the size of three say three fingers worth um, and it's it's fitting in there with plenty of room just gonna neaten up these cables and make sure that everything's secure in there. But I'm pretty happy with that overall. We'll go from there. Let's have a look at this LED. I'm going to fiddle with it before I film it. Two little hooks. They push down and outwards. So it's down and out. This one goes down to the left, and this spring goes down to the right. Now the LED, we can just see the hint of it down there. It's seriously hard to see, and there is a clip holding it. It doesn't just pull out. I've tried and I nearly broke the cables. So I'm just being a bit lazy in there, but it does have a clip. You just have to find it. I'll tell you where it is after I find it, but I'm not going to be able to film it. I seem to make my best videos when it's pitch black and it's hardest to film, but that's alright anyway. So I get the gist here. So there's your next bulb. Unclip these two hinges and go from there. See this little flippy thing actually rotates up. This whole thing rotates up and your light bulb will jimmy out. It takes a little bit of effort. Jimmy up and down, backwards and forwards, and basically just it will sort of pivot out. And bingo, the bulb is out. It's oriented like like that on the bike. You want to grab these two pincers and just sort of rock it, like pivot it up and back, because it's actually oriented like that. It's got this little locking, sort of, it's sort of got like a little bit of a catch which locks it in there and by pivoting back and forward it sort of frees this from whatever it's caught in. Now let's get this stupid LED out. There is a small clip. I'm going to try and pull this out without blocking the light. I'm just going to point it out. That's where that catch is. Push that down, pull on the cables at the same time through some magical means and it should come free. If it doesn't, I'll tell you. It will. Alrighty, since I must be fucking infinitely stupid and cannot seem to get that thing out, let's have a look at the fucking BMW and all their wisdom. So right now we're here, if you want to read along with me, feel free. Replacing parking light a bulb right. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Don't worry about that first bit. Have a look at this second piece of shit. Simply 
push aside the retainer using a screwdriver if necessary. Trust me, it's fucking necessary. And work socket one out of the headlight housing. That is apparently, apparently what it looks like. Remove bolt from the socket. Well, trust me, if it was that fucking easy, I would have done it about half an hour ago. So I have released this little. Have a look here with me. Very closely, that little catch there, that left hand side, is what I've released. And I have managed to work the bulb out about three or four mil. From there, it just feels stuck, and I feel like I'm going to rip the cables out of the back of it. I'm not overly in the mood to do that. Place the defective bulb. If only it was that fucking easy. And if only you'd used LED lights from the very start, and I wouldn't have to replace. Get my words right. I wouldn't have to replace your defective, stupid, yellow bulbs in a fucking $20,000 Super Sport bike. Anyway, thanks BMW, let's uh, work this one out. Continue cracking on. Yeah, it's only been like an hour. Anyway, hey Ruth. Fuck you BMW, I've fucking done it. Alrighty. There it is, it's come loose, you can see that black cabling. You've just got to put a fair bit of pressure on the, see how those cords are bent like that? So I had a screwdriver and I was levering it out, but it actually felt like it was going to snap the cabling. It didn't, it actually did come free. So if we have a look at this as I pull it out. Yeah, <laughs> well. Now, rule number one, don't put anything near your bike that might scratch your bike. Unless you're trying to get your fucking parking indicator out, and then in that case, I don't care if you fucking tear your bike apart to get to it, just to prove to BMW how fucking stupid this design is. Just when I thought I was out of the woods, it's still gonna fucking come out. Anyway, you'll see it. I'll tell you what, I hope these fucking LEDs fuck you. And it definitely worked. Get ready for Mission Impossible. We're nearly there. The main headlight is to go and we're done. Now because your wire is going to protrude through the back of the headlight, you need to readjust your heatsink. As you can see here, I've done the old angle grinder job here. Let's have a look. Oh, that is mint. That will show you the level of bucks I currently give because of how pissed off that light bulb made me. Anyway, and we're on a little square cut and now the wires can protrude through. Don't you worry, I've got it covered. So what does our three hours of absolute misery end up looking like? Well, pretty fucking good. Unfortunately, it's just such a shitty, tedious process. Uh, and it would not be any less tedious next time, except that I'd know where to get to the annoying parts. Anyway, let's have a quick look. And then that's me done. Cheers, guys, for tuning in. Um, we got there in the end, hopefully this helps.